All right, so over the weekend, conservative commentators decided to spend their time doing what they love more than anything else, shitting and pissing their pants over complete nonsense culture war issues. So I got a clip here from uh, none other than Tucker Carlson himself, basically crying about the fact on his massive platform that he has, the most watched uh, news show in the entire country, decided to use his platform this weekend to cry about the fact that M&Ms no longer make him horny. So we're gonna get to this clip, but just to give you a little bit context it's basically in response to this marketing campaign by m&ms to make their characters apparently more progressive okay so that's basically what has tucker carlson's uh, panties in a bunch here let's just go ahead and uh check in with how you know absolutely deranged his mindset has uh has devolved into the other big change is that the brown m&m has quote transitioned from high stilettos to lower block heels also less sexy that's progress M&Ms will not be satisfied until every last cartoon character is deeply unappealing and totally androgynous. Until the moment you wouldn't want to have a drink with any one of them. That's the goal. When you're totally turned off, we've achieved equity. They've won. So he's mad because he doesn't want to fuck the brown m m anymore is that that's what we're getting from this entire conversation okay he did a whole fucking segment on this i mean you can see the the you know the chiron down below it says candy in sexy shoes is highly offensive right nobody was really saying that it was offensive but i do kind of think that it's a little bit weird how much tucker carlson and other conservatives seem to legitimately want to fuck these cartoon characters okay this is a this is a m m okay it's a m m okay a candy Right? And this is a marketing campaign. It's not some part of like a grand societal shift to target like white heterosexual conservative men like Tucker Carlson. It's just like a stupid marketing campaign that corporations do all the time to pretend like they are progressive organizations to try to expand their market reach within various groups within society, okay? That's all that this was. And Tucker Carlson is coming out here doing an entire fucking segment about how the M&Ms aren't making him horny enough anymore. I mean, this is this is where we're at right now. This is where conservative commentators are at right now in terms of what they see as the biggest issues facing society right now. And understand in the context of this purely being a marketing campaign from an evil corporation, okay, they're doing this to distract from some of those evil things that they are actually doing behind the scenes. And just to give you one example here, okay, Mars, the company that makes M&Ms, Nestle and Hershey, to face child slavery lawsuit in the United States, okay? And I actually covered on this channel, if you wanna go and watch the entire breakdown on exactly what the Supreme Court decided in this case, which, you know, they basically decided we're going to protect these corporations against these allegations, valid and true accusations of using child slavery to extract cocoa from the Ivory Coast, okay? They are literally using child slaves to produce their products and you are focusing on this complete distraction of what their M&Ms look like or more specifically, if their M&Ms are fuckable enough. Okay, so again, listen, I don't really need to spend too much time on this video at all. It's gonna be one of my shorter ones because there's not really much to say about this, okay? This is the state of the conservative movement right now and understand this is part of like a deeper, you know, under underlying fundamental reality of what they're trying to do, right? Because it's not just about the fuckability of M&Ms. It's not just about, you know, way back from a couple months ago, whether or not Mr. Potato Head has a dick or whether or not, you know, Dr. Seuss is being canceled or anything like that. The underlying reality of all of this is conservatives understand that the platform that they defend on a regular basis, you know, endless militarism and, uh, you know, handouts to the wealthy and the tax breaks for the rich. Okay. These are all things that are deeply, deeply unpopular with the American people. And they know that. Okay. So the entire reason why they spend this much time focusing on these bullshit wedge culture war issues that are nothing other than, you know, capitalist schemes to expand their own profit margins. The reason why they choose to focus on these instead of actual substantive policy discussions is because because they know the overwhelming majority of the country would disagree with them if they were actually coming out and being honest about where they stand. So they want to distract you and they want to talk about all of these different random bullshit culture war issues instead of talking about those things. So that's the under underlying reality of this entire situation. Again, it's just a fucking marketing campaign from a corporation. All right. You shouldn't think that this is representative of the left. I haven't seen any actual leftists who were like coming out and begging them to do this or anything like that. It's just completely made up to pretend as if this is something 
something coming from the left instead of something coming from a right-wing corporation that is literally at the same time as you are focusing on the fuckability of M&Ms, they are literally using child slaves to produce their products. So let's maybe reorient these conversations towards something a little bit more productive, okay?